Exercise, certain foods and other lifestyle changes can cause your testosterone to grow. If you are currently having prostate cancer and undergoing testosterone suppression therapy, so androgen deprivation therapy, ADT, will the increase of testosterone from exercise cause your prostate cancer to grow? Hey everybody, I've been getting this question all the time and this is actually gonna be two videos. In this video, I will answer the question, will the increase of testosterone from exercise overtake the suppression effect of ADT and cause your prostate cancer to grow? And in the next video, I wanna talk when you are not on ADT, so maybe you're actively watching your prostate cancer with your medical professional, or you plan to come off ADT at some point, or you just have an enlarged prostate. Will the testosterone from exercise cause prostate cancer progression when you're not suppressing testosterone? First of all, we give men with prostate cancer ADT because we know that prostate cells and prostate cancer need testosterone to grow. So we inject them with uh, a testosterone suppression therapy to lower their testosterone and also reduce the growth of prostate cancer. So lowering testosterone means lowering the growth of prostate cancer, right? The relationship between testosterone and your prostate or prostate cancer is really complex and there's still a lot of studies that are being done and we're getting new information. We're still learning. But in one video that you can find in my channel, I actually went ahead and I gave you a lot of information about ADT, what is it, how it works. And in that video, I talked about a new protocol that has been developed where men, instead of being on ADT for a long time, they go on and then they come off to reduce the side effects of ADT and also not allow the prostate cancer to develop resistance, not get used to ADT. So it's still uh, hormone sensitive. Now, what might blow your mind is that the opposite is also true. If you have prostate cancer and you're not on ADT and you have normal healthy levels of testosterone, and then we inject you with more testosterone so that it goes way above your normal resting healthy levels, it can paradoxically slow down the progression of prostate cancer. Crazy, right? So actually new treatment protocols for castrate sensitive prostate cancer start with giving ADT to suppress testosterone and then after a period, period coming off ADT, so getting the testosterone levels in your normal healthy levels, and then injecting with testosterone to drive your levels way above your normal healthy levels. Now, I will explain how this, how and why this works and what you must ask your medical professional in a future video. So you can subscribe if you wanna stay tuned. But, of course, follow the advice of your medical professional. They know you, they know your case. However, this is why I keep saying it's super important to find someone who specializes in prostate cancer because they, they are aware of these new advances and protocols. They keep up to date with the field and they will give you much better care than just a general medical oncologist or even a GP. <laughs> However, let's get back on the main topic of this video. Let's say your medical professional puts you on ADT, either continuously or on and off. So they want you to go through a period of suppressing testosterone. If you do exercise that increases testosterone, will that increase the levels of testosterone and break through the ceiling effect of testosterone suppression and thus compromise the therapy and cause your prostate cancer to grow. Hitting that like button helps spread this information to those who might need it. And of course, please don't hesitate to share your journey or your thoughts with others by writing a comment on this video. Your experiences might inspire someone else. 
During exercise, your body's short-term response includes a temporary but significant increase in different hormones, including testosterone. But the type of exercise matters a lot. It's usually exercises that use uh, big muscle mass with resistance and dynamically. So for example, sprinting is one of the exercises that will definitely increase uh, a testosterone. So is lifting weights, so resistance exercise. Cardio, so aerobic exercise that is a bit lower intensity and more continuous, tend to have a lower increase. But what I want you to know is that temporary, short-term increase in testosterone from exercise that lasts for a few hours after the bout will not significantly impact overall levels throughout the day or week. So it will not affect your resting levels of testosterone. It's just short term. But still, will it overcome ADT? Is it possible that this temporary increase can break through the suppressive effect of ADT on testosterone and feed prostate cancer cells? Many believe that resistance exercise, which is super important during prostate cancer, might increase testosterone and surpass ADT. However, in a pivotal 2008 study, which was done in the institute that I was working in, they looked, they had men with prostate cancer on ADT exercise with resistance exercise and aerobic exercise for 20 weeks. And that was really powerful exercise. So they were uh, trying to preserve their muscles during ADT and also stimulate the cardiovascular system because ADT tends to have negative effects on that. What they did, apart from looking at resting levels before and after the 20 weeks, which did not increase, they also had them, they monitored them, they monitored their testosterone and other blood markers for a few after, for a few hours after a, a, a intense resistance exercise session at 10 weeks and at 20 weeks of their training. What did they find? There was no significant increase in testosterone. There was no significant increase from their pre-exercise resting levels of PSA. What did increase, however, significantly was their growth hormone, which you need to have healthy bones and connective tissues, which all of that gets negatively affected during ADT. And also their DHEA, which is the precursor to testosterone but there was no significant increase in their testosterone or PSA. ADT is really powerful. Great, so now we know that testosterone and PSA do not increase after either the resting levels, after 20 weeks of resistance exercise, or even temporary, a few hours after resi powerful resistance exercise sessions. The th only thing that increases is a growth hormone which we need and DHEA but now my question is can DHEA so that increase in DHEA feed the prostate cancer cells and drive prostate cancer growth on my website you can find comprehensive guides and tailored exercise and nutrition programs to help empower you on your journey to better health Fighting prostate cancer, its symptoms and the treatment side effects can be really tough, but you're not alone. I can be here for you to guide and support you. Check my website. No, gentlemen. Prostate cells, either healthy or prostate cancer cells, do not have the required tools to convert DHEA to the, to the next step and then to testosterone okay that conversion needs to happen elsewhere in the body and actually this is exactly what ADT does it prevents the conversion of DHEA to the precursors of testosterone so it doesn't matter if DHEA increases what matters is testosterone and that 
remains low no matter what you do if you're in ADT. So you can exercise as hard or as much as you want, it's safe. What is going to happen instead is that exercise will help you actually fight the cancer directly. So when you do exercise that increases your heart rate, you might know it as cardio or aerobic exercise, the muscles in our body release some magic molecules that are called myokines, exosomes and microRNAs that create an anti-tumor environment in the body and have been shown to directly slow down the growth of prostate cancer, reduce the chance of that prostate cancer metastasizing the body, and if you have metastases, they slow down the progression of the cancer and the metastases at the same time. And I'll make a video about that in the future. I do have the studies uh, in the description. Also, resistance exercise, you might know it as strength exercise or lifting weights that builds muscle. Actually, when you build the muscle and you make it bigger, it releases more of these molecules when you do the aerobic exercise. Also, the right exercises during ADT will help preserve your sexual function, your cardiovascular capacity, your bone density, your muscle strength, your muscle mass, and your mental health, which are all unfortunately taking a massive hit during ADT, and they will help reduce the hot flashes, the loss of libido, the osteoporosis, and the fatigue that are all common side effects of ADT, they will keep you capable, both physically and sexually, strong in both mind and your body, and they will virtually reduce all of the side effects you will be experiencing during ADT. So much so that in one of my studies, which I do have in the description, we had men with prostate cancer undergoing both ADT and radiotherapy, which is a really hard combo, a lot of side effects, they were still able to preserve their muscle mass and their strength. Exercise is such a miracle and really nothing can overcome its, uh, its power. But you have to know which exercises to do, how much, when, to be able to reduce these side effects improve your overall health and also fight cancer at the same time and if you want to do that i can help you with it but i have a lot of questions that are still remaining so if you are not on adt so you're either on active surveillance just watching your prostate cancer with your medical professional or you're just planning to have a surgery or you are planning to come off adt at some point or you just have an enlarged prostate what then? Should you keep testosterone low? And if yes, will having exercise and having that increase in testosterone then affect prostate cancer growth? Will having sex increase testosterone and affect prostate cancer? What about what is the link between testosterone and PSA? Or what is the link between testosterone and prostate cancer in general? And also, what about that new treatment protocol that I talked about in the beginning of the video? All that are coming in future videos. And if you wanted to stay tuned, you can subscribe. Until then, gentlemen, stay strong, keep fighting, and I'll see you soon.